Okay, so this morning we woke up and we had our our sixth armadillo in about eh, maybe 10 days. Um, he's been in the trap for, I don't know, several hours, so he's, he's pretty tired out. We're going to take him somewhere and drop him off. Um, this is the first time we got one after we went to sleep. Usually we look out the windows and, oh, there's an armadillo in the trap. And so this is what happens when, when he's... You know, the cage has a wire bottom, so I think he was trying to get out and he tore the grass up pretty bad. So I think next time I'm going to reset it, I'm going to put a piece of plywood underneath it so that if one gets trapped in there and spends several hours in the trap that it can't uh, tear the grass up. This is this is what we did. Okay, we, we have a... You know, our, our yard is fairly simple to... to um, you know, it's it's... It's a narrow place here. They can't get through the lattice, so we have we have a small area here where you can get through. So we created a, like a funnel effect, which we saw on another YouTube channel actually, because we we planted this grass here a month or so ago. Maybe it's a little more than a month, and then of course we're irrigating it. And this is Texas in the summertime; it's 100 degrees every day. It doesn't rain very much in the summer, and so because we're irrigating the grass. Now we've attracted all, all the armadillos in the neighborhood because they look for grubs and, and worms and stuff. And I think the irrigated grass is wet and soft. And then the soil over there, it's not irrigated. It's hard as a rock and, and basically dust. And, um, and I think, uh, so they're coming around. I mean, if we weren't irrigating the grass, probably they wouldn't come around much because they wouldn't, they wouldn't find what they're looking for. So anyway, so what we, what we saw was is that armadillos will follow along something. And they're not really good at like climbing over stuff. I mean, not man-made stuff, right? So what we did is we took some two by sixes that we had and then some fence boards to make it a little taller. And then we, we created a funnel and then the trap sits at the funnel. Now, I think one did get over here last night. I'm gonna continue to here and, and over here too to the end of the the end of the two by six with a fence board on top just to make it a little bit taller because a one by six isn't or a two by six isn't very tall to um you know for something to climb over if it really wants to because one did get in and, and tear up the grass a little bit because what they do is they, they feel anything about armadillos um they tear they tear the, the lawn up looking for their grubs and stuff um so anyway so we create a funnel there and then here we have a fence so they can't get through there although there is I'm gonna make this more permanent. Um, this is some of the damage they do. You know, they, they just dig up, mostly they're digging along the edge where, where, where the mulch, the natural mulch starts in the grass ends, but they've done quite a bit of damage here. I mean, they've, they've damaged areas along here. Anyway, so if they were sneaking through here, uh, I did put this little fence, it's just kind of temporary, but I don't think they can climb over it. So the only thing they can do is climb up the sides of this, this, this dry creek, which I suppose it's possible, although I'm putting a new retaining wall along here with corrugated sheet metal, and I'm pretty sure they can't, they can't climb up that. Um, there had been one here, but it was all collapsing, and the sheet metal was all rotted, and, and it wasn't supported well enough in the first place. But I think when I complete that, I don't think they'll be able to climb straight up it. Because I, I do find, down in the creek bed uh, they're where they're digging so they are down in there um, you know looking for grubs or whatever and then the other part of the the yard is uh, is here so I funneled them the night before last I got two in this trap I got one and then like less than a half an hour later I got another one um, and so we, we funneled them here too just put up some fence boards, just something tall enough that they can't really climb over. I mean, they have really short legs. So I don't think they're really good at climbing unless it's, you know, like an embankment or dirt where they can, like, grab on. And then I I just, here's some of the old corrugated sheet metal I took out. I put a piece here to block them from going underneath the bridge. So this goes all the way down to the, to the new retaining wall down here, which drops down, you know, like three feet. So, so they can't... So they're coming through here, but they can't get underneath the bridge. And then I put one here in case it, this is an island. Okay, there's actually, there's a creek on here, obviously a dry creek bed. And then there's 
right over here is another dry creek bed. The creek makes, you know, it wise, makes this island. So we, we actually own an island. It's kind of cool. Um, anyway, and then it comes back together over behind the, the neighbor next door. So we're the only ones with an island. But anyway, so they can, we have seen them on the island at night. Um, so, and they, they do dig a little bit here and there, although the ground is really dry, so that they're not really finding much. Anyway, so they can't get through here. So the, really the only entry point in, in, into the yard is either here or, 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 or over here. So that's why we've kind of, we've got an easy yard to funnel them. I know, I, I mean, if, if you have a, a really open yard, well, you're just going to have to buy more <laughs> fence boards or two by sixes or something that you just have to, to channel them. But the channeling effect, which I, which somebody talked about in another YouTube video, works really well. And then you channel them into a trap, and then you can you can uh, you know you can you can take and drop them off somewhere, or you can dispatch them. I don't know what the what you know depending on what your state laws are about. I, I don't think they're a protected species. I think they're considered a. Um, you know, like a varmint or something, you know, like a, like a, a possum or, or a skunk. Um, but, but anyway, so that's, uh, that's kind of what we did to, 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 to catch them. Because to, if, if, if you're going to shoot them, for example, you know, you're going to have to be out at 2 or 3 o'clock. You don't know, they always come out at night. I mean, we've caught them as early as 10 at night. Um, but, um, you know, they can come at two or three, four, who knows? As long as it's dark, they come out when it's dark. So you, you can't be sitting there looking out your window all the time. So anyway, um, that's that seems to work really well, is, 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 is trapping them. And then after that, it's up to you, I guess, or up to the state laws, what, what you do. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so that's, that's what we did. If you have a problem with them, try this method uh, to control them. There's no bait. Um, they say there's bait, but then I've read that the bait, there's no approved bait. And, you know, you don't put bait in the trap. You just funnel them. And then what I do is I water in the evening. I'll, I'll water here. I'll wet all this underneath the trap. And I'll, I'll wet over here, at, you know, at the entry. And I think it's like, hey, it's wet in here. There's going to be grubs. And they're going to want to, they're, they're very, um, you know, I've been out in the yard and they've walked pr pretty much almost up to me. I mean, they, they have really poor vision and and hearing so they they i think it's easy for you know they're not skittish they're slow moving they're looking for their grubs i mean I, i've been in the yard at night uh and, and had them come within 10 feet of me and they'd probably come closer but you know i back up because i, I don't want to um I don't, I don't know how aggressive they can be if, you know so but anyway what i'm saying is is that they're they're easy to trap because they're they're clumsy, I guess would be the best way to, to put it. So anyway, try this method. Uh, it, it's working for us. Like I said, we've got six already. Uh, and then one night we, the trap got tripped somehow and there was nothing in it. So we've had seven encounters, but, but trapped six, I would say in, in the last 10 days. You know, So um, it does seem to be effective. And then what we're gonna do, uh, what our goal is after we finish uh, redoing this, this little retaining wall here, we're gonna put up a, a fence um, I'll show you what we did in the in the front yard because we planted some uh, um, landscaping that uh, well the deer like it so we found out so now we bought uh, liquid fence which we applied once last week we're going to do our second application and then we're going to take down this tall fence this is just to keep the deer away as you can see they they mangled this thing these these here were mangled but they've grown back in the last couple of weeks pretty quick actually i mean they were they were chewed down down to stubs and then these yellow ones they also like to eat these which these are also chewed down to stubs and they're growing back pretty quick these they don't touch i don't know what these names of all these bushes are these they don't touch and then there's 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 some over here they don't touch these either but as you can see i mean some of these are there's not much left. Anyway, so but then we put up the short fence, which I bought green chicken wire, two foot wide roll, and I cut it. I cut it the long way, uh, so it's only one foot high because armadillos aren't really good at climbing. And put some stakes in the ground, and then uh, put that up around. And since then, we haven't had any armadillos in there because they come and they dig next to the bushes because that's where I water. When I water, I just water the bushes. I don't water the whole area. So they'll, they'll dig and tear up the roots of the 
of the bushes where I water. So we put this short fence up and then this one, this deer fencing will be removed after our second application of liquid fence. I wanna see how good it works. I've heard good reviews about it. So we'll, I'll let you know how that works in, in the future. Uh, anyway, so this seems to keep the armadillos out. So we'll do the same thing in the backyard. Um, we'll, we'll make it so that there's no entry point to the, to the backyard. And then uh, uh, hopefully that'll, that'll keep them out. We don't have to keep trapping them. All right, so anyway, so that was our, uh, our experience with armadillos, trapping armadillos, catching armadillos, and, and trying to keep them from, from tearing up our, our, our small lawn that we have. All right.